Meantime, arrests have been made in the death of Matthew Perry. With more on that, here's a Morgan Hoffman, who is here first in the morning with entertainment. Morgan, good morning to you. And uh, what more can you tell us about these arrests? Yes, so five people have been uh, arrested in charge of uh, Matthew Perry's death. Uh, one person, including his uh, longtime personal assistant. Uh, we have two doctors who have been arrested and then two uh, alleged drug suppliers. Um, apparently, this investigation has unearthed this uh, very large criminal, uh, underground criminal network. Um, but this is just so incredibly sad. What we do know is that Matthew Perry was undergoing ketamine therapy regularly to help with depression, uh, and this was monitored uh, by a medical professional. But this situation obviously was not monitored um, because, yes, he was found unresponsive in a hot tub, and, and in large part, he died due to a ketamine overdose. So uh, this is just incredibly sad overall. However, um, you know, his family has come out and said we're still heartbroken by Matthew's death. However, it has helped to know that law enforcement has taken this case very seriously. All right. We're going to have more on ketamine and its effects with Dr. Iris Gorfingel joins us in just a few minutes. Meantime, Taylor Swift has returned to the stage. Yes, so she's back in London uh, for the last leg of her Eras tour for her summer tour. Um, and this is a really big deal because she actually had to cancel uh, a week ago her shows in Vienna due to an alleged terrorist plot. Uh, and what's so exciting is there you I can recognize see that Ed person. Sheeran, <laughs> uh, who she calls her best friend. They got to perform two songs. So you can just imagine the crowd flipping out. I think it was a sold out crowd, 92,000 people in this stadium. Um, and this was just really exciting for all the fans. You can imagine that the security was top-notch after everything that happened a week ago in Vienna. Uh, and so apparently they were asking fans not to be outside the stadium. They call it tie gate, where if you don't have tickets, a lot of the fans would just be outside and sing. They're saying, please don't do that. Please wait outside the stadium. Uh, they didn't want people camping out. So there was a lot of uh, procedures put in place to amp up that security, but it's just so nice that they didn't have to cancel these shows. I know yeah. the fans were excited in London. Yeah, for sure. And very exciting for all those fans to see Ed join uh, Taylor oh, on stage last night. Oh, big deal. Night. Yes. Yes. All right, we're also learning this morning that Peter Marshall, the original host of the Hollywood Squares, has passed away. Yes, 98 years old. And you know, 98, uh, uh, what we do know is that he di uh, died due to kidney failure. Uh, but as you were saying, you know, the longtime host of Hollywood Squares, uh, he started his career when he was 15 years old uh, in this industry. So it's just amazing to see such longevity with a career like this. But yeah, 98 years old, mm. that's uh, pretty amazing. Yes, in honor of Peter, I will take Paul Lynn in the center square to block. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I love that, Jeff. <laughs> You're heading to New York this weekend. I am, guys. The, of all the movies, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, this is the Beetlejuice, uh, it's not a reboot, but it's the sequel. The original cast is back. I'm going to New York to interview the cast, including Michael Keaton. Very cool. Well, all you've right. been I, you've been looking for an outfit all week. No, know. I've been trying to find stripes for Beetlejuice, <laughs> yes. and I don't know if I'm going to pull it off, but I might have to go buy an outfit in New York. I'm getting there a little early today. I'm Poor actually, you. No, I know. <laughs> hey, my life, I'm so stressed. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually after the show flying out to New York. Okay. All right. Look forward to that interview uh, coming up, and uh, have a good weekend in New York. Thanks, Thank you guys. for this, Morgan. Thank you.